Alrighty, it's your friendly neighborhood Mickey, and we are doing some wiring today. Uh, I told a fella I would get this done yesterday. I apologize, I just got it done today. Anyways, that wiring diagram that's going around is based off a single pole solenoid. That is not solenoid, it is solenoid. It is a single pole. Okay? Now, what we have done, and I've color coded this to make it easier for you to see. We have a push button start. We have a light switch right here, which is still kind of hard to see. Light switch and toggle switch for the coil. No, he is not going to have one of those solenoids on his carburetor. Ain't happening. I hate those damn things. Anyways, here's what we have going on. Color-coded green wiring for the uh, kill switch, the toggle switch. One side gets grounded to the frame. That's it. Bolted in. The other side runs down and I joined it with a black wire right here and yes I have everything zip tied in case I want to play with the wiring at some point uh, I've got a whole bunch of extra wire in here to play with um, I've got it uh, I've got it run into a, a black wire simply because of the connection and my connector kit is running kind of low and that black wire let's get that crap out of the way well get out of the way little bastard anyways right here where my finger is pointing this is the kill wire comes back behind the starter hey looky there it is goes up underneath your cover goes to your coil now seeing as how I have spare coils laying around let's just do this for shits and grins this is your coil right here one side goes to your spark plug on the bottom side of it bottom side imagine that that's the kill wire that goes to the toggle switch okay who has got a stupid little connector on it but you can only find it at fries and fries is always sold out of them anyways and don't say AutoZone I wouldn't shop at AutoZone if you paid me to that kill wire comes out right out here I always run it right behind the starter. It goes straight up and goes into one side of the toggle switch. The other side goes to the ground. All right, we've got that covered. Now, you will find this coming out. Your red one has a diode in it. That is to prevent back charge to your alternator. All right, that comes out from underneath your flywheel there's one with a diode and one without. The one without is what powers your lights. So when you want to get creative on wiring this up, you just snip an old connector out. The side with the diode is going to run right back here. And yes, I put the coil back up, or the uh, solenoid back up in here upside down goes to the battery side of the solenoid now what I mean by battery side of the solenoid here's your solenoid this side goes to the battery this side goes to the starter everything goes to the battery side you've got one that comes from here goes up to your push button start And then off your push button start off the other side, it comes down and it goes to right here. Okay? So you got from here to push button, one side, from the other side to here. That makes your push button work and actually powers your starter. Your starter wire goes on the side with the single pole. This right here goes to your starter 
and this is kind of funky to get this phone up in here to show you starter wire runs always tuck it behind a dipstick that way you don't have wires hanging out runs to your starter now like I said this connection to coming out of here man just snip off the connector off the old uh, wiring harness that you yank out of here because you know factory is crap use that use it it's good use it your battery which is still on the charger your negative side of the battery goes straight to the frame the battery side of the solenoid that I talk about here's the other end of the wire it goes straight to the positive side of your battery and guess what you're done it is not hard it is not difficult to explain to explain or understand and guess what you don't have any safety switches if you want to put one in there instead of this toggle switch right here put a tether switch in there that way if you fall off hey your mower dies anyways that's it it's not hard yeah it's a little time consuming because you got to rip everything out and if you're cheap like me and you don't want to go buy wire you got to snip up the old harness put connectors on it heat shrink everything because i'm ocd like that anyways hope you enjoyed and uh by the way shout out to doc coming after you on that wiring job on mule man that is awesome later